how do we optimize outcomes when banks come for an event at our schools? At mine, what usually happens is that there are like four analyst associates and over a hundred kids. Yeah, that's pretty normal, right? I think we kind of talked about this in the info session training in the networking module, which is at most of these school events, the ratio is going to be pretty bad, right? I mean, what you're describing sounds even worse. It sounds like that's like 25 to 30 people per banker, which is, I don't even know what you can do with that, to be honest. Like usually I would say is you're going to see at least like eight to 10 students to every banker that's there. I think that's to be expected. Like you're not really using these networking events to try and have like meaningful one-on-one -on -one time with these bankers. Like that's just not going to happen, right? So that's not the expectation, but I think that one, you going there to show your face to make sure you sign in, at least because, you know, some firms, they do look at the sign in sheet to see if like, hey, who, who actually showed up? And they use that almost as a proxy for like, who's actually serious enough about our firm and is actually like, of course, everyone says they're interested, but like, who's actually like just enough to actually show up, right? Like, and I, I've even, back when I was interviewing uh, for jobs, like I even had interviewers ask me like, did you come to our info session? And so like, if you have to say no, um, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot, but like, you know, when they do ask, if you have to say no, then because like, then now, 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 now it's like, oh, well, if you didn't even care enough to our info session, what's there to talk about, right? So that's one, it's like just showing up and being there. Two, I think usually these info sessions, the format is like, you know, they'll do some presentation and then like during the presentation, there'll be an opportunity to like ask some questions or ask like maybe one question. And then like afterwards, there's time to like mingle, right? So like during the presentation, like you want to make sure you try to get at least one question, right? One or two questions. Try to think of like a good question that you can ask beforehand or a lot of times, you know, you can wait as you're going through the presentation, depending on what they're saying during the presentation, ask yourself like, hey, is there any follow-up question asked based on something that you just said because that, that's even better because it shows that you know you were paying attention and then like afterwards during the mingling session like since the ratio is going to be horrible i think all you're trying to do is obviously you want to you know participate and you're probably going to be standing in a giant circle with a bunch of students and one banker and in that type of group setting like it's about striking a balance right you don't want to be the really like domineering person who just tries to hog the entire kind of floor time or whatever you want to call it where you're just talking over other people and you're not letting anyone else get their questions in and you know trying to stand out that way like that'll actually that's actually shooting yourself in the foot because you're just going to be the super annoying guy that everyone else hates, right? And like, you know, bankers are kind of observing how you operate within like group dynamics as well. At the same time, you don't want to be like the super shy guy who's standing there not saying a single word, right? Like a lot of times when there's so many people, like a lot of students, what they'll do is they feel they get too comfortable and they're like, well, there's so many people here. Like I don't have to talk and stand there and they just listen in silence the whole time. So you don't want to come across as like the super shy, meek guy either because that's not really what they're looking for in banking, right? So I think same thing here, like obviously stay engaged, pay attention to what's going on in the conversation, try to find opportunities to insert yourself into the conversation, you know, here and there, like by, you know, saying something that's related to whatever it is that people are talking about, or, you know, have a question that you want to ask, try to find like an opportunity to ask, like usually the conversation will stop for a very brief, maybe like a couple seconds. One topic just ended before a new topic starts, you kind of like jump in there and get your question, in, right? So you just want to like get a couple questions in. And if you ask a question and banker answers, and maybe like, you know, obviously that's your opportunity to have a, a little bit of a dialogue with them. So try to have a little bit of back and forth a follow-up question to whatever it is that he just said and just have that small interaction and then so now he kind of like remembers your name remembers your face hopefully i like try to get their contact information before you leave the conversation or definitely before you end the night like before the end of the night when you leave the event um, or even if you don't get their contact information i mean you can use what we taught you in the networking module to just go and find your contact information yourself afterwards right as long as you have their name you should be able to find your contact information and then just send them a thank you email after the event right thank them for coming out thank them for speaking uh, taking the time to talk to you guys thank them for answering the question that you asked um for whatever and then you know also because you guys weren't able to really get that much time to talk to each other ask them if they'd be open to you know hopping on a quick call with you so that you can ask some additional questions as well that's kind of like how i would use the uh info sessions um it's really just to like go around like, show your face get acquainted like, very loosely and then get their contact information and then that way you when you reach out, there's a higher chance of them actually engaging. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more customized advice that's tailored for your specific situation, then I invite you to book a free strategy session with our team at the link below. We'll talk to you soon.